Hi guys, it's Ruby with an I and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know I've been gone for a while, but trust me, I did not give up on you guys. I was not procrastinating. I was not off doing absolutely nothing. I was actually dealing with a breakout on my skin, well on my face, for the past two, two and a half weeks and my face was not um, a good canvas for makeup at the time so I just decided to take a break and just wait until I healed my skin up really good and come back and make another video. So for the past month or so I've been going to the esthetician to get some uh, treatments on my face. It was a lactic acid peel and it's not necessarily a peel where your skin is going to peel off. It's actually a deep exfoliant and it goes to the dermis which is the second layer of the skin and it helps prevent breakouts and it improves the texture and it's supposed to improve the brightness of your skin. So I had to do six sessions and by the third session I kind of noticed like a little spot on this side of my face and I'm like eh, well, maybe that's just the lactic peel doing what it's doing and you know I would have like you know bumps come up but it would be like like acne or pimples and stuff like that so I'm like okay it's doing what it's supposed to do and um, by the fourth peel um, like two days later after that I started to scratch my face and I rarely touch my face like I rarely have anyone touch my face because I'm always wearing makeup and I want to touch my face to something else and you know how product transfers and I just found myself scratching my face and I'm like wait am I scratching my face I'm like well not good so I looked in the mirror and I had like a series of bumps just all around this area I'm like oh my gosh like I was so freaked out I'm like oh my god are you kidding me so I looked on this side of my face and that little spot, it was now raised and it had bumps and I'm like, okay, this looks fungal if you ask me. It looked like a series of ringworms or a series of rashes just all on my face. So I'm like, what the heck? So I immediately scheduled a, an, a, a next appointment but not for a treatment. I canceled the last two treatments and I scheduled an appointment with her so she can, you know, analyze and evaluate my, my face because I'm like, what the heck is going on? So um, she said it was dry patches and to me it just looked like a bunch of ringworms or a bunch of rashes on my skin. So today I'm going to be doing a glam look. Uh, this is something I just you know tried the other day and I just wanted to show you how I achieved this look it's not gonna be a talk through today it's just gonna be a voiceover so it's just, it shouldn't be as long as the other videos if it is sorry hey can't help myself so hopefully you like it and if you want to see how I achieve this look just keep watching so I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows already done and I should have a video that's gonna be coming out by the end of this week on how I do my eyebrows and I'm just gonna take my Maybelline Master Concealer in the color medium which is way too light for me I just bought it the other day and it was the only one left that was for darker skin so I'm just using that as an eye base and I'm just gonna take a light eyeshadow you can use a face powder as well or a translucent powder and set that and I really like the consistency of this concealer because it's nice and thick and it evens out really nice and it doesn't crease you have to set it of course and it's just a really good base for eyeshadow so now I'm taking taupe from the Lorac cosmetics pro palette and that's the palette that I'm going to be using today and I'm taking strike well hot which is a red eyeshadow from Mac this is from a collection so I'm not sure if they sell it anymore but you can just use any red eyeshadow and I'm using that on a MAC 224 blending brush and just sweeping that on the outer corner, the inner corner and in and above the crease of my eye and mixing sable and espresso from in the same Lorac palette I'm gonna take that into my crease and just deepen it and give it some depth and dimension and I'm using a 221 blending brush also by MAC and just really defining my crease and you want to make sure you blend out any harsh lines because it <laughs> just doesn't look good so now I'm taking Garnet and I'm just gonna pop that all over 
my lid and the brush that I'm using is a concealer brush and this is from BH Cosmetics. I'm just going to take that up above my crease because I want to make it look like I have a bigger eyelid. And the Garnet was a bit too red for me so I went in with Cranberry from MAC and I'm just applying that on the outer and the inner corners of my eye and blending that out. Now I'm taking a black eyeshadow and I'm putting that on the outer and inner corners and I'm just using a little bit at a time because you want to build your way up. You don't want to go too much and then have to either start over or use a lot of other powders to tone it down. It's much easier to build up than it is to blend down, I guess. So now I'm taking light bronze and I'm popping that on the middle of my eyelid and taking it all the way up and just blending everything out. Now it's on to the face. Under my eye and on my cheek, I'm pretty sure you saw already that I still have, you know, like a little breakout, but it's fine. So I took away some of that fallout and now I'm just gonna hydrate my skin using a moisturizer. And now I'm taking the Benefit Professionals Primer and I'm just popping that on my visible pores. And now I'm going to color correct my skin because I did have a lot of dark spots after everything. So I just want to cover those and I'm letting it dry. <laughs> so I'm just, you know. And I just got Sia's new album so I was kind of rocking out to that. <laughs> it's really good. And guess what? I got a new BB cream. So no scraping and wishing for the best. I can use as much as I want. And I'm taking that on a beauty blender and just applying that all over my face and to be completely honest I think I got a little carried away with the color correcting because it was just kind of spreading and orange was kind of getting everywhere and I got sick of the beauty blender so I just switched to my real techniques brush and it really helped it cover a lot more but it just you can see it it, it looks orange I, I got I got too carried away and not only that I kind of had to use a little more foundation that I'm accustomed to just to kind of cover it so I really knew I got carried away and I'm using for the first time the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte uh, foundation and this is a color classic tan which is too light for me so I had to mix it with my cover effects G90 foundation and just really making sure everything is blended out and I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer as well as the Maybelline Master Concealer I'm just taking those two and blending them together and I just love how the two consistencies mix together it just makes my under eyes look so nice and smooth and now I'm taking the um, what's this called again? Uh, the black oval foundation stick and I'm not entirely sure what the color is I'll just list it below and I'm taking my beauty blender to blend that out and it's funny because I don't really use a beauty blender to blend out my contour but for some reason I did that today now I'm taking the uh, what's this the Mac mineralize skin finish in dark and I'm also using my yeah that happened my Laura Mercier powder and just placing it on top of the mineralized powder and I really like how this made my under eye look and then of course I'm gonna highlight my forehead and down the bridge of my nose using those same two concealers and I'm just gonna blend that out evenly on my forehead You can just still see that a little bit through the makeup, but it's okay. And I'm just gonna set my forehead and down my nose. I don't really bake, I just put the powder on and after I wipe away my under eye powder, I just wipe it away right after. So now I'm using the CoverGirl Queen Collection Bronzer on my contour, my forehead, my nose, and then I'm going to use Hollow by NYX, which is in a NYX contour palette, and contour 
the rest of my face. And then just using the Mineralize by MAC I just set under my contour. Taking the Anastasia Glow Kit in Gleam, I think, I'm using Mimosa and I'm just gonna use a dual fiber brush and just apply that to my cheeks. I really like how the dual fiber makes the highlight look when I used it. And then of course my cupid's bow down my nose, the tip of my nose, and I'm using a <laughs> not the Love Joy by MAC, but uh, gosh, I forgot the name of this. So I just used that. That was by the Aquatic Collection. And now I'm going to do my under eye using the same eyeshadows that I use. The Sable, the Espresso, and the Black Shadow. And then, of course, uncurl my lashes because they're extremely curly. Now I'm taking the Tarte Amazonian Clay uh, Liner and I'm using a 266 brush, I think, by MAC and I'm just winging it out. And the lashes that I'm using are from Huda Beauty, but I kind of mix them up so I kind of have to figure out which ones I use. So in the inner corner of my lower lash line, I'm using gold. And then to brighten up the inner corner as well, I'm using champagne. And I just pop that on my nose highlight just to make it pop some more. And I'm taking this gold liquid eyeliner by NYX. And I'm just setting the gold eyeshadow. And I just made the gold eyeshadow pop a whole lot more. And then using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, I'm just gonna pop that on my eyelashes and now I'm using chestnut lip liner by MAC which is one of my favorite lip liners and you can just see how the highlight is just popping on my lips and my nose it's really pretty just really blend 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 that out and then this is my favorite natural lip combo I'm using mystical Lipstick, which is by MAC. Uh, I think it's a, it's a collection piece, so I'm not sure if they sell it anymore. But you can find something similar. And I'm using Peach Stock, which is a nude gloss. And I'm just using that on top so it can give it like this, you know, this nice pinky nude lip. And that is basically it. If you like how this look turned out, give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for any future videos, you can leave a comment below and I will definitely consider. And thank you once again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Thanks guys. the video.